All right. Real reveal. <laughs> Alright, so we got the boys in the car today. What's up everybody? My name is Justin Mocortez, aka Noisemaker87, even though this is not even the Noisemaker87 channel. <laughs> so I have here Spencer and Krizna in the, the car today because we are actually getting wheels for the BMW. I know a lot of you guys were um, saying that you guys rather have the FRS instead for me to continue, but instead I brought the E36 because it needs some tender love and care. And uh, I've always wanted to work on the E36 anyway, so at least I'll get a chance to work on it. Oh my god, Jordan, you son of a I bitch. <laughs> we are on the way to pick up BBS style 42 wheels for the E36. That way I can get 17s on the car. You fucking bitch. I hate LA traffic. Uh, <laughs> we're on the way to pick up some BBS wheels for the BMW. They're nothing really special, but they're so much nicer than the ones I have on the car right now. Um, I checked the wheel specs, guys. It's like <laughs> I'm running 20560 R15s. Right now? Wait, yeah. Oh, oh, shit. And then I'll be upgrading to 235 45 17s. That's, actually, that's a big jump. Yeah. That's not me. But 17s are gonna look nice as fuck on the car. Wait, are you sure the offset's gonna work? 20? Yeah, that 20 sounds, to 40. Okay, that sounds aggressive. It's just. It... Alright, so we just made it to the place, and now we're just waiting for the. All right, so we're just waiting for the guy right now. Um, yeah. Three hours later. All right. Wheel reveal. Yeah. Got four sets with tires and wheels. Gonna put them on the BMW. So let's grab these off of the Sakura and in the garage. It's pretty much good right there. All right. You know, I noticed every single time I do a mod vlog and I put something on, it's always in the nighttime. Ah! Are you using on, a I use torque wrench? <laughs> You're not supposed to do that. They're all the same size, right? Yep. Shouldn't they just come off? <laughs> you might have to bang it a couple times. Bang what a couple times? This? Just because the wheel might be stuck on from how long they've been on there. That's true. It's been on for 200,000 miles. <laughs> yeah, I don't think these came off. Like, no, I bet they come off. They have to come off. Well, how does it, how do they get? They're stuck on Great right service. now. Wait, how do I, how do I take them off if they're like stuck on here? Kick it. Do I really? Yes. Wait, the wheel? Kick that shit. The wheel's yeah. stuck on right now. Oh, I just yank it from the back. Like this and pull? Yeah. Yeah. It's on a jack. It should be chilling. It's not on the jack. Or it's not on the jack stand, it's on the jack. It's on the jack, but I have a jack stand underneath it. Let me give, me, let me give it a good old kick with the chunk. Come on! Oh my god, these things are fucking on there, bro. Uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> this is content. <laughs> like a big, like a big channel? You, uh, million subscribers channel? Oh! <laughs> is she <re> <laughs> <laughs> is <laughs> Honored <laughs> live stream, yeah. Woo! Nice! See, I told you. Kick that look bitch. at that angle. I, I hit this part. That hurt. <laughs> oh, sorry, Jordan. I should have been the one kicking. Oops. Jordan. Chris knows inspired to. Uh... Oh, shit. <laughs> Boy, is it? Send it all the way. It's done. That's it. <laughs> that's a fat two fingers out. That's a two finger poke. That's an inch poke. <laughs> You're gonna need some slamber for that. It looks like it's coming off. There we go. Okay. Oh. Good job, Jordan. Woo. Two for two. Oh, that one's much like harder. Cool. Good man, check. <laughs> <laughs> As long as you're leaning, <laughs> let's just hope these come out easier. Psych. Okay, 
Yeah. Well, I haven't changed the tire since I got this thing. Ah. Because I barely oh. drive it compared to the upper road. Tire change. <laughs> We're chilling. Dude! Oh, what's that? What are you doing? My handbrake. I forgot I had it up. Yo, that shit was sick! That's gonna rub like a motherfucker. No, it won't. <laughs> oh, it is on it! Do you got a credit card? <laughs> Three days later. Something came in the mail today. And I had to... I had to tell Matthew real quick. <laughs> oh. oh great. A box within a box. <laughs> oh, okay, I technically don't need to use these because these are for the M3. Um but <laughs> oh, this <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I've watched tutorials millions of times, and I low-key know how to do it. The BR Series is the perfect choice for street driving and the occasional road course or autocross duty. With easily accessible adjustment knobs for fine-tuning compression and rebound, ride height adjustment independent of shock stroke and spring preload, having a performance coilover system has never been easier. Blah blah blah, BC Racing, it's coilover. <laughs> Alright, time to do the install. Well, we're not doing it today, because... We'll do an install later. Bye. All right. So today is install day, which is literally like I think the day after recording this. Um, yeah, my grandpa's gonna be helping me out today, and then I also have my friend Jordan coming. Right now, we already have the car jacked up. I'm just removing some extra stuff. All right. First issue we're running with, and I know a lot of E36 owners are gonna know that that black box is right on top of where the rear coilover is supposed to go. Alrighty, so, uh, speaking about that, speaker problem, you just take a Phillips head, <laughs> I figured it out, thanks Beamer forums. So you take a Phillips and you remove the grill part, and then there's gonna be, they said three screws, I only see two right now, but there's three screws that hold it in. All I gotta do is unscrew that. <laughs> I had to grab the Phillips screwdriver that was in the rear trunk. Fun fact, if you guys didn't watch the weird things about my E36, or I guess my E36 review, you can go ahead and check it out on not mod vlogs, but I did do a review on it. God, it's so hot. This tab is a thing that was connected to this that prevented me to take it out but there's a screw here screw here and this can easily just be popped out same thing for the other side all right oh. i am sweating so hard right now it's almost not even funny all right and then yeah there's one speaker and there's two excellent Oh, I sweat my butt off. There's a 10 mil right here that's covering this little area. So, uh, okay, cool, I got it out. And then, hopefully, theoretically, I'm able to just pull this off. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm missing a couple, hold on. Okay, I said screw it. Apparently, they had like fender liner holder, which I don't know why they would do that. But, oops, nice. Let me make it just, let me guess, there's one more. Oh, it's just rubber covering. Okay, that's just a plastic. And then, ah, excellent. Aha! The coil over. 
What is it? I think. 14? That sounds right. I think that's right. 14? Uh, what is this? 12? You got it, right, Grandpa? Good. Okay. Alright. So, for the BMW cars, this spring is separate from the strut. Oh. Grandpa, I can take out the strut, right? I got, it's already out. Alright, so one strut down and then it's easy to take that off. But, let us go. Oh, say hi, Jordan. <laughs> so my grandpa's taking off the other strut right now. Oh, okay. He's done. We could just push it down and then take the spring off. We just have to... Yeah, for this one, Grandpa, you could just put your weight here and then just take it off. Oh, here, hold on. This one, oh, see? This way bar? So you better hold this one. I think you move the other side. Yeah, that we, we could just... Yeah. It's easy to take off the spring. We don't have to disconnect the sway bar, Grandpa. Why? Because it, it, if we're just taking, do we have to? I don't think so. Because for this one, right? Hold it here and this one here. Turn up that one. Because I saw all you have to yeah. do is just put weight on here. Yeah. So the video was supposed to say that like you just had to take out the strut and then you should step on the brake rotor and then it should be easy to take off the spring, but no. I have to take out a couple more things. So, update. Theoretically, we didn't have to take these out. But, it's better to try than not try at all. The stepping on the brake rotor was right, but the fact people kept saying, oh, it's easy, you know, you just to take out this, take out that. No, it was not that simple. We had to like, <laughs> so I was holding the, uh, so we had to, <laughs> fuck you Jordan. <laughs> so we had to, so I had to step on the rotor and then Jordan had to like, uh, what did he do? Sorry, I can't think while doing shit. <laughs> Jordan had to like use pry tools to pry off the, pry off the, the spring on one side and it took a little bit, but we were able to get it down. So uh, when you do the other side, it's not as difficult because it's easier to put it because uh, the spring is a little bit smaller and it's, it's adjustable, yeah. and it's adjustable yeah so it shouldn't be that difficult to put in the second one yep. the first one sucked because you couldn't adjust it and it because the compression is so dense it's super hard to take out so basically it's just gonna go in there I'm gonna step on this thing it's gonna lower it should be easier because this thing's way smaller than that thing over there Well, the reason why I can't go any lower is because of the... Ah, well, no, you can get off. I seem to figure out why, why is it off. So now I'm going to try to put this in the middle to match what I had on the other side. I know you guys can't see this really well. Oh, probably need a light, but it's okay. All right. You got the screws for it? Yes. All right, cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and fit the coil for the rear and boom. Then Jordan on top is going to tight hand tighten. You can hear him We're doing his work. Are you doing both sides right now? Or just the one? Okay, cool, I let go. And then now we just need a jack to line up this with the coil over here. And then we're gonna be putting in this bolt. Not sponsored by Mundu, not yet. <laughs> All right. Okay. Is that good? Grandpa on your side? Oh yeah, nothing else. Okay. That's it. It's on the ground. Is it the same? Yep. Perfect. Perfect. So when we put the new wheels, 
And then add camber. Just bounce in the back a little bit. Huh? Just bounce in the back a little bit. Yep. It's gonna be like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Jordan, you ready for part two? All right. All right, cool. So I got rid of this one right here. This is a 18, and then you have 18s one here on the other side. Yeah, and then we're gonna do 13s on top, yeah. And I just have to clear this. Oh shit. Like that? Like that? Okay. 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 Oh. Okay. Yeah, okay. Whew. I hope you still got that uh, fast orange, Grandpa. There you go. And these are the new ones. All right, so this compresses a lot when it's like on the car though. Like, I know. So sh should it be just fine like this then? Mm -hmm. Hey, I can't actually compress it because I'm not heavy. Yeah. And should we be fine like this then? That's probably, this is about probably how tall it is when it's compressed. Maybe you could lower it for like, well actually. Should we just leave it like this then? Yeah, you can try it. Okay. Because th these ones are a lot easier because it's a three caller. Okay. Michelle. So like this. Yeah. So in here. And then go up. Oh. Shoot. Uh, oh wait. Yeah, the one. There we go. One. And then in here. Okay. Do we need a jack? No, we'll put the head first. So that I'm going to put oh, the Oh shoot. <laughs> Hold, on. Uh, Hold on. Hold uh. on. Is that good? Oh. Alright, so Jordan's gonna put this in max camber. Has the tire on here already? Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Oh, bro. See what I mean? Oh, bro, this is definitely gonna rub. It Did might. So we have to lower it and find out, huh? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just make sure it's clear on all sides. Yeah? Okay. Thinking. Oh, bro. <laughs> the tuck is... Is that the low? Is that the low? Huh? Okay, dude, it's touching. It's 100% touching here. <laughs> yeah, it's touching. Yeah. No, we gotta raise this, dude. We gotta raise it like one inch. Is there a jack point from the front? Oh, there's no. Two hours later. Oh, you're chilling. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Yep. It's about this. This height is about the same height that we had set it at the first time. <laughs> it's still touching. Barely. You wanna yeah. see it? Don't feel it, dude. Oh, there's space. There's space. It's totally gonna rub though. Yeah. All right, other side. That's why we need tires. Or you can just put the stocks back on if you really want to. Yeah. Then you'll never rub. Well, we'll put these on for now. Well, if you get the tires within the next like, I'll probably do it Friday. Generating on lips like this. Whoa, buddy. Damn. Alrighty, so. Oh shit, lighting's bad. So, day three, or I guess part three of this install. Um, we were, I know I didn't get much footage of it, but we have the stockies on right now. I didn't get time to, I didn't have time to like fix the height because of class. But since it's Friday, I don't have class today, and I put on tires, like I said, yesterday. 
So I'm running 215-40 R17, 215-40 17s in the front, and then I'm gonna be running 235-40 17s in the back. Hopefully I might, there's a slight chance I might need to, uh, I might need to roll the fenders in the rear, but hopefully, we'll see how it goes. I mean, my God, this thing is low key low. And uh, huh, it doesn't sway anymore, so that broken strut, I don't know if I showed you guys, but we have a broken strut, which is this one right here compared to that. Yeah, those things are toast. So, uh, yeah. You could, you could actually lift the fender. Yeah, you could probably almost go lift the fender. If you, if you took out the, the fender liner and you rolled this, lift the fender easily. <laughs> Sheesh. Come on, you gotta be a hot boy. Let me look at that. Your other one, your FRS can be taller, but this gotta be slim. Yeah, th this? <laughs> um, it's like, I'll um, think about it. We'll think, we'll, uh, Standing in front. Ready? Wait. Yes. Fucker, bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I, I, I thought that was the real thing. God damn it. Hey, 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 hey. Is that good? I know we can go lower, but. Sheesh. Oh yeah, the rears need to be like at least two inches lower. Yes, sir. You good? So hopefully these turn out well. We'll find out. Yes, I know I could be just using my fucking hands, but Damn, show those muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, what are you doing? Ooh. Ah. Oh, just hand tightening, you know? <laughs> Alright, ready? One more degree of camera. I think you'd be actually super chilling. Also, is your toe off in the back, too? <laughs> Wait a bit. You just need to get that shit aligned. Damn. You might not have to raise it. Not? Like, this is fine? I mean,. Yeah, I think that's But right. you're gonna have Kali Lee. What do you mean? This is the driveway? Yeah. Oh, that's high as fuck. Oh, shit. That thing that's was... a hard lean. <laughs> <laughs> Come out and take a look. <laughs> it's a crunch. Sick looks super sick. Actually, hold on. Go on this side where the sun is a lot better. Yeah, that's sick. Anyways, it's been a long time since I finished the vlog, and I'm just really happy and excited about this E36 build. And that wraps up today's video, or this week's video, since this. <laughs> this whole install was like a week process. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe, which allows me to know that you guys love the content that I see and keeps you up to date. Make sure you hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next mod vlog.